NBA opening night is tonight, and well, the Celtics will be looking to repeat. Other teams will be looking to spoil their party. But there's nothing better than NBA basketball. One of the best sports, I would say, here in the United States. And Sammy, one of the most fun sports to bet on because it's each and every night. There's player props. There is game lines. And today we're going to be talking about the over-unders for each and every team, which is difficult to do always because you never know what kind of you know injury management or rest management players are going to be into. Or real injuries. I mean, at the end of the day here, you have guys that do injury management but are actually hurt, like Joel Embiid being announced that he's out for the whole first week and Kawhi Leonard being out for a certain amount of time. Um, you know, you never know in the NBA. Like, if we did this podcast yesterday, might have a different opinion on the 76ers. Exactly. Literally yeah. <laughs> this morning, Joel Embiid just like, psych, I'm out for a week. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's very hard with the NBA. So we're going to kind of do these rapid fire unless like it's a lock at some point or at the end, tell me your locks, but we're going to kind of go rapid fire with these 25 minutes, every NBA team over under, and these are all presented by Caesars. If you want to bet on Caesars, you can click the link in our description below. One of the friends of the show. And Sammy, um, for some reason, I don't know what kind of order Caesars has it in. It's like bucks. Magic Sixers, I don't know, Ben Lakers. So I don't know what the order really means. So we're just going to go through the order Caesar has. That's fine. It. I think that's a little more exciting. All right. Just perfect. Random, so it's just random you know, teams. I will say, though, um, at the end of the day here, these are difficult because of what you said before. Because I know we're going to do rapid fire. I just might as well th throw in the, the thoughts here. NBA is really exciting. I sometimes don't love the over-unders anymore. Like, I think they used to be as the best, most fun bet to do. But because of that injury stuff, the no, people not playing, it also, like, I feel like NBA is now easier sport to bet night to night because, like, you got to you wait to see what happens with who's playing and then bet it. The over-under is just, it's, it is crazy, George, that, like, you don't know. Like, you read Milwaukee Bucks, right? You have no freaking idea how many games Giannis or Dame or Chris Middleton's playing. And you're like, huh, well... That makes it complicated. Well, I, I, to make it even harder, I'm just going to say one thing, and then I literally will. I'm going to show you my screen, actually, if I can share this tab. Last year. Okay, look at the Eastern Conference. Between the two-seed Knicks and the, what is this, seventh seed, eighth seed? Let's go all the way down to eight. There was only four games separating them. Yep. In the West, the two-seed all the way to the seven seed, only 10, 10 games separating them. Like, well, it's, and you can also cancel out cancel out the top three seeds from four to a four to the end of the plan was only five games. Yeah, so it's just the teams. It's so evenly stacked. All right, so let's get started. We'll start off saying that the Milwaukee Bucks, Sammy, over under set forty nine and a half. They won forty nine games last year. So will they be better or worse? They won 49 last year, you said. Yep. I'm going to go over specifically just because I feel like last year was like a disaster for them and they still won 49 games, but it was pretty much a disaster. Like the first year with Damian Lillard, with Giannis, like that wasn't what they expected. And if they still won 49 games and a head coaching change in the middle of the season, uh, they should end up finding a way to go over. Yeah, I think they go over as well. Of course, health dependent. I'm Chris Middleton's we already can say out. That. We can say that about every single team. Now. Yeah, but I, I like them going over second year of Damon Giannis. Uh, there's agreement on that. And I'm not going to mark all these down, Sammy. I just, at the end of the show, give me your three locks. I'll give you my three locks. Well, so the Bucks are your lock. No, no, they're not locked by them. Just since we both have them over, I just just – How about just mark down everyone we agree on. Let's see what that parlay is going to be. Okay. Uh, Orlando Magic over 47 and a half last year, 47. So right back on that number. Unfortunately, I don't like to start off with a back-to-back -back same answer, but I'm going to go over just because they're an ascending team. And this is a type of team that unlike other injury teams, when we say injury, sometimes that can mean resting or actually hurt. They don't have guys that are going to rest yet because they're a young team and they're fun and they're ascending. So I'm going to go over. 
Yeah, and for me, this is a team that, I mean, look, Suggs is playing for a new contract. They're young. They're going to take the regular season seriously. I'm going over as well with, with Orlando Magic. Yeah. All right, the Philadelphia 76ers. I think we're going to be three for three on agreement here. 15 and a half wins last year. They won 47 games. It's got to be under, right? Yeah, it I has mean, to be. Just be, And I think under as in not like a disaster season because they did get Paul George. They do have Tyrese Maxey. I think they're going to be a playoff team. I think they're going to do their best as a squad to sneak into like a eight seed spot and be like, okay, now Embiid's going to play every game with Paul George and Maxey. But I just named two guys, Paul George and, yeah. and Joel Embiid, who both. Yeah, and Joel Embiid did, did say, I'm game. not going to be playing back-to-backs for the rest of my career. So, you know. Yeah, just and Paul playing. George unintentionally doesn't play back-to-backs. Yeah, and Tyrese Maxey uh, hurt his hand right in the last game of a preseason, so you never know. Yeah. Los Angeles Lakers, over 43 and a half games. I don't know where they came from. I don't know this order. They went 47 last year. I have to go slight over. I think once they get over the Bronny James stuff and they're going to play him for a game or two, if he's okay, they'll keep him on the roster or they'll put him in the G League. They'll get rid of the all this. It's cool. I'm not even complaining about it. Like, I like that they're playing Bronny tonight, Me too. probably. LeBron James, you know, it's your son. That's awesome. Like, you I, you know, I think you made a video about it. Griffey's in attendance with his dad. Yeah. Like, yeah, fucking guess awesome. what? I, I, can I say something about that? Uh, Everyone, all the reports are he's expected to play. Don't be surprised if he, he's playing. And yeah. the juniors went, or the juniors, sorry, the Griffey's flew to LA to watch him. He's going to play at least a minute. Like, for example, if I'm LeBron, I'm going up to JJ Redick, who's hired because of me. And I'm like, even if it's like five minutes, just put him in. And JJ mm-hmm. Redick's gonna be like, all right, fine. Yeah. Like, like, sounds good. I will. And once that's over, though, as long once again, this the the cliche, George, unless injury, they should win more than 43 games if Anthony Davis and LeBron James stay on the court. Yeah, but to me, I just wonder if we'll ever get that like same season from Anthony Davis. Last year, he played like what seventy games or sixty-seven games, and it's like I don't know if I've ever seen like Anthony 75 Davis five almost George. Jesus. I think it was like a ridiculous number. Yeah, which Anthony Davis never does. He's coming off an Olympic appearance, him and LeBron. But I do like the over as well. I'm in agreement somehow. We're in agreement in each and every one of them. Yeah, I mean, I think the whatever order this is, where we've got we've gotten hit with some uh uh. Like, I feel like some of the ones we're going to agree on the most for some reason. Well, here's one that I know you've been really excited about because there's some, this is one of those 76. Teams. Sorry. Anthony Davis did play 76 games. Last Jeez. Year. That's, right. no, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Number. I, I know this one, Sammy, you've been waiting for. I'm going to give you the Florida Toronto Raptors over 29 and a half wins. They won uh, 25 last year. You know, I'm really excited to watch a lot of Scotty Barnes. Uh, I know. You I know, know, a lot of, um, Scotty Barnes. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think who's there. Oh, G- Grady Dick. I will like to watch Grady Dick. Yep, me too. He's ascending. I, I think actually he's going to be pretty decent this year, Great- Grady Dick specifically. The-, the weirdest roster of all time, George. I mean, like Garrett Temple, Emmanuel C- Quickly, Jacob Podol, Grady Dick, Bruce Brown, RJ Barrett, and Scotty Barnes. Like I think there's a lot of good. Yeah, it's press the under. <laughs> there's a lot of good. Young <laughs> you said players. those words. I had to do it. Yeah, press the under. We're in agreement. But like, there are a lot of ascending players there. Like Emmanuel Click quickly could have a good year. Grady Dick's only 20 years old and he's gonna be good. Um, R.J. Barrett's still ascending. Scotty Barnes, but just the assemblance of this team is not a team that's gonna win the, like anything more than 26, 27 games. I agree. All right. The Golden State Warriors over 44 and a half. Sammy, I love this one. Come on. Like, as long as Steph stays healthy and they were on, I'm not going to say on fire, but they won 46 games last year. That's with Steph missing tw- about 15 to 20 of them. Draymond missing 15 to 20 of them. Steph got hurt. When Draymond came back in the second half of the season, they were 25, I think, in 10 in their last 35 games. So My only issue with this one, how many wins did they have last year? You said 41 last year. They had 46, uh, 46. You, you know, the biggest issue with this one, and I, I'm going to go over because this is what you have to, I feel like when it comes to the NBA over unders, you kind of have to just lean on the hope of health, right? Like you can't yes. just assume health's not going to work. The problem with the warriors are 
if either one of the two guys, Draymond Green or Steph Curry, is out, the team's like a disaster. I don't Agreed. know why. Like even even Draymond Green, like being out, they were a disaster. Or Steph Curry's out, they're a disaster. They have all these guys that they keep saying are ascending, like Moody and Kaminga and what's the what, uh, Pazenski, but they're they're not good enough yet to be anything near replacing you know when Agreed. Steph's out or Draymond's out. If Steph or Draymond miss anywhere between fifteen to twenty games, this is a far under. But you just got to keep your fingers crossed. They stay healthy for. 70 to 72 games and they'll probably win 45 to 48 games. yeah that's how i feel all right the minnesota timberwolves 52 and a half wins you know i love myself the timberwolves sammy last year they won 56 you just um, zoomed in a lot i don't know what happened there, there I, I'm, I'm sorry yeah there you go i was fixing it uh, 56 wins for the timberwolves last year you know I can't understand if I like what they did with the Carl Anthony Towns trade or not. Like, I don't know until I see it. I'm not sure if it was a positive trade for them or a negative trade. So this is actually a tough one for me. I want you to go first. All right. Well, here's my thing with this one. I would usually on a team like this to go see that number and hit the under. But this team is a little bit different. Um, Anthony Edwards is kind of a maniac. He's kind of a crazy person in a good way. We saw him in a preseason game just get so excited to D up Jalen Brunson and like talking smack like it was game seven of the NBA finals. I think when you have a crazy person like that, he's going to take the regular season seriously. They went to all the way to the Western Conference finals. Give me the over on the Timberwolves. I think they're going to be everyone wants to say Oklahoma City is the best team in the NBA or regular season. No, it's going to be the Minnesota Timberwolves will have the best record in the NBA this season. I'm going to go under. I think they're going to okay. win like 49, 50 games. They're not going to have the best regular season record without Carl Anthony Towns. I think that's why I'm saying I don't know. I don't think I'm – I'm not concerned about this team when it comes to like being good in the playoffs again. They're not as talented, just like two stars. The second best player on the team is technically Rudy Gobert. So they're not going to win 55, 56 games this year. Not going to be as good in the regular season as last year, in my opinion. It's going to be a little less, but I think they're built potentially better for a postseason run where Anthony Edwards is the number one guy. He gets the ball as much as he wants, and you pick up Don, uh, you pick up DiVincenzo, who can play defense. I think they built themselves actually better for a playoff run than a regular season run. I think last year there might have been a little bit better built for a regular season winning a lot of games because playoffs come with Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns, who's number one. Now they're built for, I think like a 49 win team that makes a deep run into the playoffs. So I actually think they might succeed more long-term this year, but not in the regular season. That's fair. I mean, you got to remember though, cat did miss 20 games last year um, with a torn meniscus. Yeah. And that's why they had a better regular season record. Like that was that's like, they but that's well, why wait, wait, wait what how's that mean that's i said cat missed no i understand but when, yeah. yeah but the other 20 when he was in they were like i think they were 11 and 9 only when he was no i just year. looked it up so the thing is they had a 683 win percentage last year they had a 770 win percentage without cat they actually played better in the regular season without 70s cat with cat. like 12 and 8 isn't it uh it's 14 and 6 14 divided by six. Are you sure about that? I just Googled it. Yeah, 14 and six. They won. They had a better winning re regular season winning. That's 70%. Okay, yeah, yeah that's 70. fine. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like, I was just because I knew Cat hurt himself last year and they still put up 56. But maybe someone else gets hurt. I mean, I'm, I'm not uh, not poo pooing your uh, pick. You know, I, I, I'm, I feel pretty confident about the under, to be honest, on that one. Like, just, just, just based on the fact that it's a new team already like put together. But I think they're going to be better off long term. All right, Chicago Bulls. Can we can we make it quick on the Chicago? Just Bulls? press under. This team sucks. Yeah. They uh, actually like, have I'm, some cool pieces like that might be good, like Giddy and Ball. And, but it's all guards, like Levine. I just don't know what they're trying to accomplish. Yeah, I, I was going to go with the Chicago Bulls under seventeen and a half. Seventeen. They're going to win 25, 26 games because Zach yeah. Levine. And Josh, no, I, was just, I, I just figured Josh Giddy's on the team, so I'd go under 17 and a half. Oh, nice. I mean, yeah, she was, you. I think she was, I think she was 18. 
Okay, well, under over under 18 for Josh Giddy. All right, let's move off of the Bulls. I don't want to talk much about these next two, this next team too, the Brooklyn Nets, over 19 and a half and under 19 and a half. And that's not games Ben Simmons plays. That's actually games that the team wins. Let's just go. I'm going to just go with under. Like, I I'm mean, just going to go over. They might win 20. Like, it's the NBA. Like, I don't know, though. They won 32 last year. Yeah, but I know, I know. Go under. All right. The Atlanta Hawks. Uh, 36 and a half. <laughs> well, they won 36 last year. So this seems right around there. They lost to Jante Murray. Who did they pick up for Murray again? I'm not answering that question because I don't know the, the exact answer. Okay. Um, I, I don't know why I do not know that. What do you think about them? I don't know what I think about them. They have Jalen Johnson. They have... Trey Young, they're kind of like a weird team. They have their weird run for like Trey Young had his weird, cool run for a year or two. Um, and it's been he's kind still of, talented, yeah. But I'm just saying the run, it's been kind of lost since yeah. then. Um, I don't know. I mean, it also depends what this they have some guys that. You know, they signed Jalen Johnson. He's only 22, but you kind of wait. You, we've been waiting on, you know, like DeAndre Hunter to kind of pop off and be a lot better. They're a weird team, but I'm just going to, I think the bottom half of the East is really bad. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and go slight over okay. um, because Trey Young's a really good player. Yeah, I have no feeling about this team. I'll go with you over just because uh, this is not going to be definitely not one of my locks. Uh, Boston Celtics NBA champions over 58 and a half last year. They went 64 and 18. Oh, freaking a, I'm just going to out of respect, go over same here. I, I mean, I still, I don't feel like they're the type of team, especially with what happened with like Tatum in the Olympics and Jalen Brown being left off the Olympics. I don't feel like they're a team that are just going to cruise in the regular season. I think they still kind of feel disrespected in a weird way. Yeah, and they those guys, those two you mentioned, regardless, like even if you want to laugh at the fact that they feel this way, I know you're not. I'm just saying in general, some people are like, oh, wow, well, they always, always feel that way. They kind of have that Kobe mentality type of thing, both of them. They both kind of have that, okay, F you, you guys don't believe in us again mentality, um, which leads me to believe like you said that they could probably win those that amount of games do you know jalen brown supposedly uh shaved his beard right i don't know he was on Stephen a smith show yesterday yeah but i think he shaved his beard uh not like completely he's not like a bald uh bald face but you know i thought that was interesting about them i'm with you though they're a good team um i mean he literally has a beard yesterday <laughs> <laughs> was it like as big as it was no, I mean it's, it's, it's a it's a normal beard. This is what he's been in the preseason. It's a pretty normal beard. He just it's not long. It's just now like a like our beards. Okay, that's fair. I mean, <laughs> I'm looking at a picture of him right now. I mean, just it's completely different beard. But we'll we'll uh, we'll not argue about the semantics. You really you really thought that was a topic to bring up? Is that this is him all off season? He has a a beard. Okay, but I mean, you saw his beard last year. Look at this beard. This is a completely different beard. He almost had a James Harden beard. This is his new profile picture for the season. Uh, Maybe it's grown a little bit more now, but this is how he came into media day. So he trimmed his beard. I mean, it was he. He, he content. He's always had like a little bit of a beard shaved. It a little bit of a beard. That this is not. This is not a new story. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Denver Nuggets. Over 50 and a half. They won 57 last year. I don't know why. I mean, God, maybe because Jamal Murray was so bad in the Olympics. I feel like the number is super low for a team that's probably upset that they kind of blew a chance to go back to back last year. Uh, I, I think Jokic is still the best player in the NBA. I'm, I'm going to go over on the 50.5. I'm going to lean over also. I actually think... I hate to say this, but I, I think the Russell Westbrook off the bench on this team can kind of work. I feel like this is like the type of kind of team that could kind of, I'm saying the word kind of three times on purpose, 
that can kind of work because I, don't, I, I actually think he's finally at the point where he's not like, he knows he's not like, you're not getting more than like, eight I, 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 I kind of agree with that actually in a weird way. Like I never believed in him, but this one he has, to, if he, if he couldn't, can't get it now, he's never going to get it. Well, and he probably yeah, never get it. Which means this is going to be a All disaster. Right. Sammy, we're going to go super rapid fire here. Cause we got to, I, I know you're on a little bit of a tight uh, timeline. So Portland trailblazers over 21 and a half. Just press under. I, I don't even know how they're going to win 20 games. Houston Rockets over 44 and a half. I'm going over. I think they're going to be a little bit better this year. Let's go over on them as well. Um, I'm still hesitant on Jalen Green being a. They gave him the $150 million contract. I don't love it still, but they're going to be okay. Los Angeles Clippers over 35 and a half, 5.5 in a new arena, nicest arena in basketball i'm going under i'm actually going over with them i know people okay. keep thinking they're going to be a disaster but i actually think james harden's probably so happy right now he's going to do that he's going to put up 28 points a game and they're going to be good enough that when Kawhi eventually plays they might win like 38 to 39 games all right utah jazz over under 28 and a half they won 31 last year i'm going to go under i feel like they're tr they were trying to tank. You just failed that. <laughs> yeah. They're like too well coached. Uh, Cooper Flag is going to look great in Utah. I have a feeling he's going to be a Jazz. They're not going to be the worst. They're not going to get a number one pick, unfortunately. There's there's a handful of teams, I feel like, that are just so crappy. All right. Uh, Hornets. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go, on the I'm going over on them. I okay. think LaMelo Ball is actually going to have a good season. And I think they're going to finally win like 33 games <laughs> like okay. they're not gonna be good but they're finally gonna win some games all right um dallas mavericks nba finalists last year they won 50 games I'm, I'm gonna go under even though they'll be back in the playoffs i just don't think this is a regular season team i'm gonna go a slight under as well um i think also with clay thompson and kyrie irving a lot of injuries every day um it's gonna just take a little bit of time to get them going and to the they're gonna wait to the playoffs to get going right. as long as they make it. Cavaliers. I think this is gonna be one of the best regular season teams in the NBA. I mean, I'm yeah. not a big fan of you know them for a playoff team, but I just think regular season wise, they're just built to win games. Yeah, I'm I'm smashing that over. Um, I think they yeah, just that's have one of my so locks. Many, they have so many pieces of like really good young guys, bigs and guards. Um like you said, they're probably not assembled to be like a NBA championship team, but they're assembled to win 52 games in a regular season. Right. Knicks over under 53 and a half. They won 50 last year. I'm going under very, 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 very <laughs> slightly. I think they're going to go like 52 and 30. Yeah, like it's going to be, I think there's also going to be, it's a little bit of a transition with like Cat coming in and being the next number one with, with Brunson and it's going to be a little weird. Yeah. But guess what? Sorry. Fifty-two. If they go fifty-two and thirty, they're then probably number two seed in the East. Yeah, the Miami Heat. Um, the forty-six win Miami Heat last year. I'm gonna smash the over. I can't ever go under with them just because they find a way. The Oklahoma City Thunder fifty-seven and a half last year. They won fifty-seven. I'm smashing the under as one of my locks. Uh. That's crazy to make that a lock, but it's I, I would go under. That's that's just being a Seattle Sonics fan, being angry. You know what? No, though, because I honestly think they won 57 games last year. They were completely healthy. Not one injury all year last year. Like they had a perfect season, and I don't think perfect seasons happen every single year. I wouldn't say they had a perfect season. They're they're Josh Giddy was supposed to be like their second or third best guy, like lost all confidence. Uh, they, they got a year older, but then again, 57 is a crazy number, so yeah, that's it's only crazy like number. I uh, they could win 55 games thing. and be the one seed, still, probably. Yeah, I'm just saying to smash the under is crazy. There's a little, there's a little, I hate OKC in there. I know there is a little bit of that. Um, the Detroit Pistons over under 26 and a half. I'm just gonna hit the I over whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm going under on them, I just don't think they got it figured out. Okay. The Pelicans over under 45.5. I'm hitting the over there. 
I would hit the over, but I just hesitate to find out what the hell Zion's going to be this year or how healthy he's going to be this year. That's or... why. I, that's why I'm not making it a lock. I'll tell you that much. Because yeah. like they uh, have the team, but God, that's confusing. The San Antonio Spurs over <laughs> under 35 and a half. You just got to go over hoping that, you know, hoping they get it like completely right this year. But you never know. It could take another year or two. Yeah, I, I just love Wemby. I think this is going to be, I mean, we all do. We don't have to explain that. The Phoenix Suns over under 48 and a half. Yeah, this is going to be a lock for me at over. I know well, it's a big have... number, but they were so, like, they played so bad last year to be a team that was still, what, at the 46, 47, 48 range? Yeah, 49. Okay, yeah, and they played, they were not that, that, good together. Bro, I'm with you. That's one of my locks of a year, too. Yeah. And they weren't good together. Let's not forget that. Like they struggled together. Um, they picked up Tyus Jones. They got done in the draft, who's looking like a three point sniper slash defensive guru. They did a lot of good work in the offseason and another year of Durant, Beal, and Booker like coming together. That's a All big right. lock. Absolutely. Uh Sacramento Kings over under 46 and a half. I'm gonna go under slightly. I'm gonna go over with them. Um okay. I actually think this will be the year they finally don't just like hover because they've been a hovering team every year. Yeah, and that's where you don't want to be. The Washington yeah. Wizards over under 19 and a half. I'm going to go under. Um, I mean, who's their best player? Kyle Kuzma. You're not going to win. Like they won 15 last year. Yeah, just smash the under. I mean, like whatever. I Honestly, I'm smashing the under because I think it'd be funny for them to win like 12 games. Yeah, Memphis Grizzlies over under 46 and a half. I'm gonna go over. I'm going I mean, like, over. I don't. I don't love this team. Me either. I'm, I'm not. I'm not over. one of those guys who like people are talking about them being the one seed, and I'm like, what? Yeah, are you talking we're not about? like we're not the. Uh, you know what? We're not the Derrick Rose, John Morant. Even like, I think John Morant could lead the NBA and win the scoring okay. title this year, no, but no, that no, doesn't mean I, it means playoff success or regular season success. We are not the John Morant, Russell Westbrook, Derrick Rose. Type of lovers, families. Like I think it's very clear. Like those three guys, very specifically. I've never heard George say like, "Give me that guy as the best player in the league." No, no, but but I'm telling you, he can lead the league in scoring. That doesn't mean yeah. it's a good. It doesn't mean Derrick Rose won MVP, but like the, I know. I, so did Russell Westbrook, but you've never been like obsessed with them either. Yeah, no, like, never. Indiana Pacers over under forty seven and a half. The last one. Um they're a good regular season team. 47 last year. I'll go slight under. Give me the Pacers as a lock over oh, I like 47 that. and a half. Lock over. Yes. All they right. So are who are your locks? The Phoenix Suns over. All right. The Indiana Pacers over. Okay. I forgot who my there was one that was under, but I, I gotta look at it. <laughs> Can we scroll up the screen for you? Hmm. Yeah, give me the... Um, go down. Go down. Give me the Utah Jazz under as a lock. Screw them. You know why? Right, I think just, they're gonna trade like marketing in middle of the season, and not marketing. Um, marketing. Yeah. Can't remember. Who's it. And no, no, he's on the he's on a different team now, isn't he? No, Larry Marketing is the Jazz best player, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, so my I was, trying, I was trying to think of somebody else too. I can't remember the name. That's how bad the Jazz situation is. They're gonna yeah. trade him mid season. Just letting you know. Yeah, Jazz are definitely not a good team. My three locks are the Thunder under, the Cavaliers over, and the Phoenix Suns over. Cavaliers over. Wow. Yeah, I just think they're built for the regular season. So pretty I'm surprised because you don't like, I know you don't like them. Who? Donovan Mitchell? Yeah. Yeah. Right. But, but, but they win regular season games. Like, like you got to take the regular season differently than the playoffs. I think they're built perfectly for a regular season team. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, all right, Sam, those are our Over Under NBA uh, podcast. That's every single Over Under. Enjoy regular season basketball today. And if you want to bet on these games, we have a bunch of betting apps, including 
rebet for people who are in in states that don't allow sports betting. So Texas, California, Washington. Sammy, can you tell them about them real quick before we sign off? Check out the links in our description. Every single sports betting app we have is in one of the links down there. Rebets is legal in a lot of states that don't have sports betting apps like Washington State and some other ones. Underdogs, legal, and some other ones that but it's different. Rebets like the only one that's actually like a sports book in Washington State and other states. So like in Texas or California, you can actually bet spreads, player props, not just like the underdog sleeper method where it's a uh, you know daily fantasy. But we have all of those links in the description. Most of them is promo code on tap. But for Caesar Sportsbook, there's actually a link you got to click on there. Um, so you can click down there, put what state you're in, and see what our offer and what offer and what's legal in your state. Perfect. Well said, Sammy. You guys all enjoy the NBA season, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.